I was with the country band and we were playing Orange Blossom Special. We were opening up for George Jones and it was about 3,000 seat place and a fiddle player kicks it off. The fiddle wasn't functioning so he's having a hard time getting it going so I grab my fiddle and I start playing. And about halfway through my performance of it, his violin starts to work. So we started having a duel to an Orange Blossom special. So we were playing it over at it. Everybody dug it. I think the whole, every 3,000 people were on their feet. Because you know, it. it was totally unscripted. I mean, you could tell the guy's fiddle was messing up. There and welcome to the Melody Music Studios interview series where we get to know our teachers a little bit better. I'm Ashley. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, you're very welcome, Ashley. My pleasure. Okay, so my first question is, what instruments do you primarily teach? There's a lot of instruments I teach. Uh, through Melody Music, I've been teaching banjo, I've been teaching some pedal steel, uh, mandolin, not too much tenor guitar. Uh, I've had some fiddle students, upright bass. Uh, I'm usually a multi-instrumentalist, so I, I take on that function with uh, entertainment and, and with teaching. Wonderful. And then what ages or levels do you teach typically? I teach all levels uh, and most ages. You know, my criteria isn't so much age uh, with a young student, is uh, can they sit still and pay attention? And if, that's, if they meet that criteria, it's, it's worth a shot. Yeah, that's great. That's pretty important. So I'm with you on that one for sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So where are you located? What state and city or county so that students would be able to find you if they were interested in studying with you? All right, well, locally, I'm in Sarasota, Florida, right off the Gulf Coast. It's it's paradise down here, so I'd like to meet any students that are down here. We're all lucky. My okay. next question is, um, what advice would you give to someone who is thinking about possibly becoming a music teacher? Uh, I would say get educated, of course, uh, learn how to read, and be mindful that, in my estimation, your job is, is to teach people how to practice so that when they put the effort into the instrument, they're not spinning their wheels. So I, I try to teach reading to everybody, and that's something I would tell a teacher to do too. I, I wouldn't want a student walking away being musically illiterate. But just get educated and think about how you want your student to practice. That's, a, that's great advice, and, and yeah, I think a, a large part of what we do is is teaching our students how to practice. I always say practicing, learning how to practice properly is an art form within itself. Next up, my question for you is, um, do you come from a musical family? I don't. I, I'm the only musician in my family. Interesting. So no musical genes through, through the family. I supposedly had a grandfather who uh, played violin in Slovakia. Nobody in my immediate family. Where do you see yourself, or I should say, what do you see yourself doing when you retire, when, you, when you're finally done with teaching music? I'd still be playing. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. there's plenty of gigs uh, around here. Who's your favorite composer or arranger, or who do you really love to play? That's a, that's a tough one. I mean, I, I love uh, Stravinsky as far as playing. Uh, I, I like jazz. I like Duke Ellington. He, him and Billy Strahan wrote some fantastic tunes uh, as far as jazz is concerned. Uh, Tchaikovsky, uh, I think Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies is one of the weirdest melody lines yeah. you'll ever hear <laughs> anybody <agree>. play. Yeah. <laughs> So my last question for you then, Steve, is what other musical endeavors are you currently working on or maybe hoping to be working on in the future? Well, I'm always doing recording, so people will send me tracks. I'm starting to work on my own uh, music too. Uh, I work with my ch uh, church. So I'm doing Christian music through that. And I have my own Pro Tools set up and I've got some nice equipment. So that, that would be something that I would like to really launch and, and do more songwriting. So I've done some in the past, but I have really enjoyed the recording and, and, and creating music. Thank you so much for being here with me today and, and chatting a bit, um, allowing us to get to know you a little bit better. And I loved your answers that you gave us. And thank you to anyone who might be watching or listening. And we hope you've enjoyed um, our time together today. Our I sure did. Sign off for now. Bye. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ashley. Bye. Take care. Bye.